Hello everyone, back for another video, and today I thought that I would just show you guys, or like, talk to you about something that I haven't really heard anyone else talk about, about Security Breach. So this is a FNAF video, I haven't done one of these in forever. But I just thought, I just thought I'd mention that I found it interesting that there's one ending where it shows Freddy getting, Glamrock Freddy getting replaced. And um, he essentially goes in the garbage and was replaced by um, Glamrock Mr. Hippo or whatever. And then I started thinking, I was like, you know, this whole establishment is based on Freddy's character. Like, if you look anywhere, Freddy's face is plastered all over everything that you see from the walls to the theming I mean literally it's called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex I mean all the neon signs <clears throat> and even the character the from apparently the company themselves to them, the characters that perform at their establishment is just, they're just replaceable. Like it's just that easy to replace them. Like it, it would be nothing. But I mean, you've got to think about all the merchandising and including like on these computers to uh, program the stage and everything. It's got Freddy's face everywhere. So if you were so easily replaceable, guess about, guess how much fun, like how expensive it would be to replace everything that had his face on it. All this carpet, it has his face on it. They'd have to rip all that out and replace all of it. And it's everywhere. All this carpet with his face on it is everywhere. No Glamrock Mr. Hippo, not Roxanne Wall from Monty, or even Glamrock Chica. None of them have their face all over everything as much as Glamrock Freddy. And I just found it so interesting with how disposable the game makes it seem like he is. Like, he is so easily replaceable. Yet it would cost them so much money to replace everything, like, to rebrand everything from the posters like the huge posters on the walls the huge logo on the wall over there that has his face on it there's there's like trash receptacles that have that are made in his likeness and even the huge sign that's up there his face is everywhere literally freddy's face is all over the place so if he were that easily disposable, they must have a lot of money to be able to just easily replace him. And not only that, <clears throat> they would have to make a new model because they have the huge projectors, the huge hologram characters. They would have to come up with a new, a brand new hologram for Glamrock Mr. Hippo. So a lot of expense would go into getting rid of Freddy as a character. And I know Vanessa had said they were going to slap his casing on a new endo, but literally there was that one scene where it showed him the Ronin in the trash and replaced with Glamrock Mr. Hippo. So that has me confused. Like, where are they going to get all this extra money from to completely redo all of this? To completely eliminate Freddy? And I mean, even Bonnie, like, Bonnie only has Bonnie Bowling over there, which is, I believe, a closed attraction. I don't exactly remember, but I don't think it's fully functional or it's, or it's being redesigned or something, but I know this is not really that important, you know, because this is just a, uh, a video game universe and all that but I'm just thinking about it logically like how would they manage to completely rebrand 
by getting rid of the face of their company, which is Glamrock Freddy. He is the face of the company. So I don't know. I just thought that that was something interesting to talk about. <clears throat> I just got done, literally on this game, I got done doing the uh, Monty um, boss battle. So I got his claws. My Yes, I am playing this on Switch. So my Joy-Con right now is kind of glitchy. I don't know why. And can we just take a moment to appreciate, like, the design of this game? I mean, I know I've already said my point and everything about Glamrock Freddy and everything, but I mean, can I just gush over how amazing the design of the Pizzaplex is? I mean, all the attractions are jai freaking enormous. And I just can't get over it. Like, even the... Not just Glamrock Freddy, but, like, other characters do have, like, something as simple as a trash bin um, in their likeness. It's made after their likeness. But, I mean, you look at all the lighting. This place is huge. Like, I mean, this is some place that I would have never wanted to leave as a kid. I would have probably ran and hid somewhere in the pizza plex to try to avoid having to leave. The grown-ups would have had to drag me out kicking and screaming. I would have never wanted to leave this place. But yeah, literally all the theming is just oh. art like the artistry of this of the design, like the the game design. The locate of the location and the theming, everything, the neon lights, everything is just glorious. I mean, I would have wanted to go here every single day of my life, honestly. I mean, obviously never wanting to leave, you know, that would have been me. I would have never wanted to leave because this place is basically Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. That is what this is. And there's so many layers and layers and layers and layers and layers to this game and like the, the different layouts. There's just so, 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 so much. And each character has like an attraction dedicated to them. Oh yeah, and even like with Foxy, like whether there was a Glamrock Foxy at one point, either way, he had his own attraction, which is now closed down. So that's, that would take a lot of money to do that. I'm just saying that would take a lot of money to completely rebrand a character out of existence in this place. Even in Monty Golf. So this is Monty Golf. Monty has his face plastered all over the carpets. The whole theming is revolved around him. So the amount of like funding it would cost to completely rebrand all of this into a new character would absolutely just blow my mind, but that that's one that's one interesting thing about FNAF is they don't seem to look after their characters very well. Um They pretty much look at everything as kind of disposable, and it's kind of sad, actually. Because me, personally, when I was a kid, like, going to Chuck E. Cheese, the characters were everything to me. So, and you know, like, the children, because this, this would have been, like, a main, mainly a children's establishment. So, yeah, of course... Let's say, you know, well, of course, a lot of people are fond of Foxy. But also Bonnie as well. So, like, you would have kids come here and, you know, they just dispose of an animatronic or something and they switch it over to a new character. Of course, children are going to ask about that character. 
they are going to want to know what, what, where their favorite character is. Why aren't they there anymore? I don't know. It just, it kind of blows my mind. But anyhow, thought I'd talk about that randomness that just popped into my head. Um, well, it just didn't just. I've been asking myself it for a while now. Yeah, I'll try to make my way over to Freddy. I left him over here. I don't know. The whole FNAF universe is a very strange, interesting, bizarre, fascinating place. There he is. Also, who would want to replace this face? I know he's like all dirty and everything right now. I don't know why that is. Like, as you progress through the game, the characters get dirtier and dirtier. They start out all polished looking and then they progressively get more and more filthy over time. Ugh, I just want to take a, a washcloth and wipe him down. Just, ugh, look at all this. It looks like he's been walking through soot or something. Poor guy. But yeah. Anyhow, that was, that's my video. <clears throat> that's my random thoughts on that. Thank you guys for watching. More videos to come and remember to stay true to you.